is I, Shaq Gamer, coming to you from Shaqville. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to start off this with, uh, with talking points based, again, as indicated by the subject, on the Pegaxi update and new roadmap that was just released. I've got to say, I'm kind of pumped. It, it, it kind of reinvigorated my enthusiasm for the project, which was starting to wane after the latest updates that they've added to the game weren't really gameplay focused. So Ares um, and those not really, not really what I was hoping that they would release first. But they've uh, they've given us something, and I believe that based on what's happening with the pricing, it has definitely helped uh, Viz in uh, the last 24 hours or so. Let's uh, take a look at that price right now and the price action, and you can see over the last 24 hours, even less, I'd say, what would that be? 10 to 12 hours. Um, over to the hour chart. Okay, yeah, say 12 hours or so. It has jumped a little over 20%. So that is, in my opinion, solely based on the of their new roadmap at right now. And just going over it briefly, it's going to be going up on you at ShackGamer80, by the way. So check me out and check out the that I have posted there. Um, and here it is. I'm hoping that uh, that this actually comes up for you. I could find a better version of this. That was a better definition to be able to blow up uh, easier. So do bear with me. I will go over the first couple of quarters, uh, maybe until quarter four, uh, and then I'll just air Q1 2023 as Corey didn't mention much in his and update of this as well. So. Number one, starting off, Q2 ends, as we all know, in, uh, in June. So this, we're looking, this first column, we're looking to be released, you know, in the next four weeks or so, next month. So that is some pretty, pretty good news because there's a lot coming. First off, it's the uh, it's Bobby selection, which we've heard about and, you know, they've been talking about and talked about uh I'd say for the last couple months at least. Um, so that is finally coming where, you know, if your Pega isn't doing well, you're going to be able to uh, hone in on the stadiums that it does well in right now. So you've got a 15% Pega that you know does well in water stadiums. Should, I, I believe this means you'll be able to focus solely on racing that Pega on a water stadium. Uh, drop system and drop racing. This was a little didn't quite understand what his breakdown was of this, but I'm just gonna assume and believe that it's uh, you end up getting loot, uh, like drop boxes that uh, of items. What those items are gonna be, I don't know. Uh, and then there's the loot box and items underneath that. So I think that the drop system and the loot box items are intertwined and they're they're kind of one and the same. Maybe the loot box items and the items are things that you're going to be able to purchase. Drop systems are stuff that is probably going to come. Again, loot boxes and items that may drop due to racing. So one, you're going to be able to purchase outright. Other will be a an RNG drop for you uh, while you race. Didn't go into detail as to who would, again, this is just my interpretation of the drop system. Um, I didn't go over and study his video release uh, in depth this time because I was pretty excited uh, just to see that uh, this new roadmap had been released. I'm hoping that uh, that it's not solely the, uh, the podium finishers that have this drop system. Um, drop racing bonus or or uh, 
yeah, I guess we'll, we'll call it a bonus or a prize that it is for the, the 15 racing pegas, but we'll wait and see about that. So that's coming, you know, in the month. Uh, key three, stable management. Uh, this was more on, the, as he was mentioning, it's more of the guild uh, bonuses and kind of tweaking there. So there's going to be um, competitions and, and tournaments and things revolved around guilds and, and competitions with them. That's, I mean, if you're in a guild, great. And if you're a guild manager, that's, that's probably for you. I am part of a guild. Uh, however, my partner is the one who has you know, supplied 95% of requirements for the guild uh, for bronze guild so that is uh something coming the quest system has me a little concerned as he mentioned there's going to be daily weekly and monthly quests i'm really hoping that they at least charge for this that it's not just again another mechanism turn is because that would just lead to, to hyperinflation and tank the uh the coin even more again so i'm hoping that this quest system again that they do it sure but if you want to get involved in it you're going to have to pay into it and you're not necessarily guaranteed something for it uh that one's going to be tough a tough pill to swallow if it is something that uh that is just more free biz First skill based gameplay mode at the end of Q3. So, you know, end of the summer, August, September ish. There was that leak. I did tweet that out at Shag Gamer 80. Um, there was a bit of a leak, and it wasn't anything too spectacular at that moment, but just showed that they were working on this gameplay mode. So, that is going to be awesome. This, these two quarters, the end of this one and the next, look fantastic. And then he was very vague as far as Q4. I'm sorry, the stable management was not uh, part of the guild thing. That was the ranking in competitions. My apologies. Go check out Corey's uh, video. I will link it uh, in the description of my video that I'm going to clip out of the stream. So, yeah, Q2, Q3, super pumped. He was very vague as far as Q4, except for the ranking and competition. That was the guild stuff where they're going to try and do more E40 types. Um, and the battle pass in the black market kept that very vague. Q1, Q2 of 2023 uh, was, again, didn't want to get too into that uh, and reach too far out. To Give us false hope manage expectations there which was fantastic i will i'd much rather that than tell me that i'm going to get a dozen roses and i get a danny line so um that is about it for the portion of this stream i'm pretty excited i can't wait for this actually to come about for these releases in the next couple quarters um especially you know with the lobby selection it probably big one that i'm interested in for q2 then the gameplay mode the skill based gameplay mode in q3, what i'm out of that so the next six months uh four four to five months we'll say going to be going to be uh going to be great if they can actually round things up and get things out the door uh, on the development side so we'll have to wait and see but uh, for now, yeah, that's that's all I've got. So if you're watching this on YouTube, follow us on Twitch, which we're getting in right after this, at ShackGamer80 there, and on Twitter, at ShackGamer80. So thanks so much for checking out this video. On to